What's up, everybody? I just won a Series 1 VGC tournament. Here's how. So this was a uh, best of three tournament. Every match was best of three, and they were open team sheets. So the my team you see on the screen, my opponent got this image for every match, and I got theirs. So we know what items, what Terra types, um, and what moves each other are using and our abilities. Um, so there's no surprises with that. The only surprise is how you're trained. We do not get each other's uh, EV spreads and natures. The tournament was ran in with uh, pools. There were four pools. Top two in each pool would advance to the top cuts. Uh, my pool ended up with five players in it. So I played each of the other four players in the pool. We each played a match and then based on standings proceeded. If you'd like a full breakdown of the team that I've built here, I go into that at the very end of the video after winning the tournament. Um, and I'm a little chaotic as I go through it, overwhelmed from winning, but uh, I also uh, have a brief chat with my finals opponent, talking a little bit about some of our team building choices. Every match is timestamped with uh, it timestamped in the description below with an image of the enemy's team on it. Uh, so you can see what I what information I knew going into it. I'll have uh, written thoughts and analyses in the description and or the comments of this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Any support on any social media, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Kofi would be appreciated. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the matches. OK, my opponent said sorry one sec. Keep looking at their team. Let's see, Stone Journer, Rock Tomb, Body Press, Heavy Slam, Wide Guard. I believe a Terra Water. Okay. So there's some battles there. Grim Snarl. Annihilate. Ace Punch Annihilate. Ooh, no bulk up. Ooh. Safety goggles. Ooh. Oh, what's Tinted Lens? I don't know that item. Uh, doubles the damage. Not very effective. Okay, so not very effective moves are more effective. Cool. Okay. Looks like I have my opponent.
God damn it, I'm muted again. How, was I muted that whole game? God damn it. God damn it. 
Never mute. That's what we've learned. Okay, I still like the Palmot lead. And what are they going to do to change things? Do I lead Dragonite? No, I think I want to lead Special Attacker. Um, it resists Armor Rouge. Yeah, let's do what I was going to do game one. We'll do Rotom in front. But keep the same four. I like using this music for tournaments. So what's the worst case scenario? They Terra the thing to water and survive the hit and then hit me back with like strength sap. I think that's honestly. I think I'm okay with that. I think I'm in a close combat and hydro pump. I didn't account for switch ins at all. Oh, maybe I should have thunderbolted Darbaliva actually. Probably going for Giga Drain on my uh, Rodom. I didn't think about that. I mean, I outspeed in a strong way, even if Rotom goes down here, which I don't think it will, given how bulky it is. Don't miss Hydro Pump, please. And that boosts what stat on the seed? It's defense, right? Yeah, which is a problem. Oh, Hydro Pump missed. That's bad. Giga Drain. Ooh, Giga Drain gets the knockout. Okay. Okay. Mistakes were made. Probably should have switched out. They're almost back to full, so that's bad. They are water, which I have uh, just Rotom for, so I think, I think I'm tempted to revive. Oh, I brought all physical as well. I think I'm tempted to revive Rotom. No, I'm going to switch into Mimic you. Uh, so I'm going to send in Dragonite here, and I'm going to switch into Mimic you to take the body press we expect. and then get fake out back later. Um, and for Terra, I don't know who they have in the back. I don't think I want to commit my Terra yet. I think I'm going to... A Spinner Dwayne, get rid of the grass? Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't know what the play is here. I'm missing Hydro Pump but getting one shot were not things on my dance card. Have they brought the Annihilate? Good, and I just brought in Mimikyu. Good, 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 good. As long as the Stone Turner doesn't wreck my life. Kind of wrecking my life. Shadow Claw the Annihilate, which does have Protect, but that's fine. Um, Octoon Pomot might survive that. What's Stone Turner's attack? And now I think I'm gonna uh, let Dragonite take it. I will. Stomping Tantrum. I 
So they have a fourth Pokemon. I am on the back foot. This is going against my wishes, this match so far. I did protect. Now they know I'm going for it. That was their only normal type, so they don't have a switch in. Ooh, Dragonite lives barely. That's huge. That thing's too bulky. Alright, Shadow Claw. And I guess we have to extreme speed now. This is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And I've used up their Psychic Seed, or their, their Grassy Seed. That's actually important. Something's taken a Terra Ghost Shadow Claw. Small of Garden, get your grass terrain back up. Oh my god, that did nothing. The thing has so much defense. Pretty strong hit. Gets the KO. That's gonna revival blessing Rotom. Or actually, do I want to close combat? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close combat stone Junior. Um, Shadow Claw, you. Uh. I don't know what they're... Oh, they still have four Pokemon. Huh? I'm just gonna close combat you. Pick up two knockouts. And I think I, uh, that I will not outspeed the Talonflame if that's what they brought. If they, if they bring Talonflame, I think I lose. And actually, low kicks will be an issue too, because first impression. Ugh. Oh, this is bad. And Sucker Punch. Ooh, Sucker Punch. I mean, oof, we'll see. Depends what they brought. You know, it's Annihilate, and I still have my Sash, or my Disguise on Mimikyu. It is the Ziggy, okay. Do I think they're going for first impression or for sucker punch? Um, Shadow Claw, Jazz, and I think I click uh, Revival Blessing. Close combat would be super effective. Um, Revival Blessing plays around sucker punch. First impression is gonna be a problem, yeah. So I think I'm gonna click Revival, Revival Blessing, hope to play around the Sucker Punch. Oh, they're Sucker Punching Mimikyu, maybe? Okay. What did we determine its uh, low kicks, the speed was? Low kicks is at speed 92, so I should outspeed unless it's max speed. Um, I haven't hit the Annihilate yet, I think. Oh, crap. I mean, I know how dangerous the Annihilate is. What item is it? It's uh, actually no, the Annihilate I think I can take. I think I'm going to play rough Ziggy. Oh, well, oh, that's right, I still have my disguise. Oh, we're, we're golden, we're golden. This was the right play. As long as the player off didn't miss, which it didn't. And now Annihilate's gonna Rage Fist and do half my HP or something. Because it's power 50 Rage Fist. Damn, nope, it did finish me off. Okay. 
Um, so we misplayed into the Arboliva and we missed the Major Bomb. That's game two loss. Now we go on to the final game, game three. Um, what is their team? Okay. So they led Stonejourner every game. I mean, honestly, I'm scared of Talon down Flame. I'm glad they haven't brought it. Do I lead double offense and keep Pomot in the back this time? That sounds appealing based on how these games have gone and how little protects they have. They just have two protects. You know, I like mouse hold against some of the stuff. Don't think I like Dragonite. I love Palma, I love Mimikyu. I wanted to bring Armor Rouge this final game. It's good against. It's just, it's just okay. Um. I think I'm gonna try, so Mimic you Armor Rouge. If they lead Stonejourner, I can Dark Pulse it. And it could Rock to me or something. Hmm. Do I just lead Rotom? I think I'm gonna go back to Mimikyu and we'll lead uh, Palm off for Fake Out. I'm scared of the Talon Flame. Um, Rodom's good in the back. Mouse hold is okay. And mouse hold's good into everything except for uh, a couple of other things. <laughs> um, it's the bug first impression and no protect. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring mouse hold this time. I respect our Boliva more, is one thing I've learned. Ooh, they led Ziggy this time. What does their Grimstarl have? Sucker Punch, Taunt, Thunder Wave? I think I'm going to... Layer up Grimmsnarl and fake out Ziggy. Then that gets rid of its first impression pressure. Uh, this is game three. So we won the first game, lost the second game to a misplay of not respecting our Boliva. And uh, we will see what happens. Terra Electric, okay, okay. Get the neutral, get the neutral, and now you've consumed your Terra. Get the Thunder Wave off, okay, that is actually kind of scary. But neither of these have protect. So I'm I think down to play rough again. And um just combat with the Ziggy Slot. The worst case scenario here is that they uh switch in Annihilate. But I don't think I'm dying to Grimmsnarl. 
You think that's okay? Neutral is good to know. I didn't think about the fact that bug resists. I was thinking that would be super effective. Oh no, Palmat! You're down to focus sash. Lokuk's always gotten my butt way while exploring. Oh no. I get play rock didn't miss. That's important. Well, I also gave the Arbor Leap a grassy terrain. That's all that might have helped it kill uh Rodon. Dwayne the Rock. So I have Rotom and Mousehold. Mousehold's an issue. Mimikyu still has its disguise. Um, I think I'm going to make that swap. Ooh, do I want another? Ooh. Nuzzle would power it up. I think I, need, I think I need to get good damage in in the close combat. Are they going for protect or are they going for uh, rage fists? They went for protect. Nice. I mean, keeping what's its name in here would be nice, but if it survives KOs and I get KOs uh, Palmot and then I get mouse hold in, that would be I get um to bring Mimikyu back in, that would be fine. That is what happens, okay. We're gaming. Ooh, but I'm paralyzed. Does that change anything? Still have my disguise, so I think it doesn't. How tanky is Stonejourner? Do I want to uh, back it with mouse hold. I think that's the play. Population bomb and Terra Shadow Claw. And I preserve. No, I, I lost Palmont. Who, who else did I bring? Uh, special attacker. Um. Wow, population bomb missed. Wow. Great chase out speed, but I have uh, my disguise. Just don't be fully paralyzed. 75% chance. Yikes. Okay, good. All right, so now it's a 2v1 versus the rock. And I have super effective damage into it. What is Stonejourner's um, special defense? Base special defense is 20. Oh my. Uh, do I want to just Thunderbolt it? Um, Rotom. Thunderbolt for KOs. So I do actually want a Thunderbolt so I don't miss. Um. I'm gonna click protect as well as I can. All right, I win 2 0. I think I'm coming up. Yep. All right, so I'm versus Gone to Flavortown. Who is playing? Your in, your in game named Guy. Not ranked battle. It's okay, it's this team. Um, Link battle. Toxapex. Dreadnought. 
Well, Parazu Meryl, so they're very heavy onto the, um... Um, okay, so Dragonite, Draco Meteor, no Protect. What has Protect? Dreadnaw is the only thing with Protect. Toxapex Recover, it's Terra Ghost. And Toxic. Did I come back for Twitch? I did, okay, um, turn off this. Pull back up the team we're fighting. Avalug, very tanky. Actually. What about Rotom Dragonite? So I'm expecting them to lead Dragonite or something, and I can ice spinner into them. They lead Avalug. I switch it out into Armorouge? No, so let's lead Mimikyu, because then I can switch out into Rotom. Well, Mimikyu actually, if this is the rare match where Mimikyu it does not crush everything, so I think this might be a no Mimikyu game. Um, their Dragonite versus my Armor Rouge. I assume I take those hits. Uh, okay, Mouse Hold, I think I like to lead. Yeah, mouse hold Rotom, that makes sense. In the back we'll have Palmot and Dragonite or Armorouge. I guess Armorouge, Terra Dark. Seems good against everything except for uh the things it's not. Yeah, I think I like that. They lead Dreadnought Pelipper, I'll be sad that's what they led. Okay. Dreadnought has Terra Water, Ice, Rock, Pelipper's Drizzle. It's gonna outspeed my mouse holds. Um, they don't have a switch in for ground, that's good at least. Um, they're gonna protect. I don't imagine so. I imagine they're just gonna attack. I think I'm gonna protect Mouse Hold and Thunderbolt. Ooh, actually, I can Thunderbolt Dreadnought. Leave the Pelerob, let them get Tailwind up. Nah, I think I wanna stop Tailwind. Uh, I protected first. Why did I go first? I did liquidation, so I did make the right call on that. Send out Dragonite, which can thunder me, extreme speed me. Who did I bring? Not super great for the Dragonite. Um, I'm going to. I'm gonna put faint. I'm gonna faint the Dreadnought and Thunderbolt it. Is what I'm gonna read. Yeah, I feel very good.
All right, I made some good reads. Does Hurricane KO me? It does. All right, so they're locked into Hurricane. What do I have that resists that? I've got Rotom. Um, uh, Palm Ox is neutral. I can Terra it. Um, and we know that it's uh, multi-scale Dragonite. Ooh, Fake Out actually sounds really nice here. Break the multi-scale and uh, they brought Avalog as their last. Let's fake out the Dragonite and how, how tanky is Avalogs on the special side? Avalog versus Rotom. Joe Pump has a chance. Yeah, no, we're just gonna Thunderbolt for the accuracy. I didn't check Terra types. Type is the Dragonite. It is electric. Okay, that's fine. The lug is fighting. Okay. Press into which? To the Rotom. Rotom's gonna chew its berry. Um, the Dragonite did outspeed, but it's locked into Hurricane, which I resist. A lot of turns of rain left. Palmot still has its bullshit. Um. Revival Blessing seems good. Nuzzle seems good. Um, I think I'm going to Nuzzle the Dragonite, Thunderbolt the Avalog. Locked into Hurricane. I don't think it can KO either of us. I think Specs, it might be able to. Oh, Rotom outsped it. Oh, because I paralyzed it, I outsped it. Oh, I, I, I accidentally played very, very smart. It was an accident that I made a good play. And it got the full pair. That's just cruel. Um. Alright, well. Um, guess let's start doing damage. Um. Terror Blast or uh, Dragonite? Um, Thunderbolt is still the stronger move. Battle is canceled. All right, I win the game one. Thank you, TNT. All right, so they led what? They led Pelipper Dreadnought, and I outplayed them very well. They probably won't do the same thing this game. Um. Uh, I don't remember if I did or not. Um, this time. I think I still like mouse holds. I want to go Pomot this time. I mean, the Rotom worked well against that. If they change it up, if they go Azu, I still like the Rotom. If they go Lug, I still like the Rotom. If they go Toxapex, I still like the Rotom. So it's actually just Dragonite that I'm not in love with. And uh, Mouse Hold, I don't know that calc. Let me check. Mouse Hold, Technician, probably KO is Dragonite. So yeah, uh, these two are a great lead. 
I like Palmat in the back. Do I want Dragonite or Mimikyu? Um, they've got... I don't... Both have... I think Mimikyu has the Sash. Sounds better. They've got a lot of ice. They have a lot of ice. I'm going to go Mimikyu. Because then that preserves my uh, Terra options. They have three ice spinners. Oliver and Dragonite. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Population Bomb the Dragonite and Thunderbolt the Pelipper. The best play. Oh, if they switch into Rocky Helmet, I'm thrown. Ooh, I didn't consider that. If they switch Dragonite into Avalog. Is uh, then I've lost my mouse hold for that. Happy New Year, Nogpin. We are in a tournament. And I just misplayed, but it might be survivable. Ooh. Era Poison Pelipper? Okay, so now Pelipper survives. You get up Tailwind. I did not bring Trick Room. Oh, okay, they do not switch, though. Oh, I didn't account for multi scale in my calc. Okay, we're fine. Yo, Pelver's tanky. Ooh, you got the confuse. That's bad for me. I right, said so Dredna is the worst case scenario here. Yeah. Can Dredna KO Rotom? Dredna uh, versus Rotom. Wash. Uh, no. Uh, in the rain, can it? No. Um, I think I'm tempted to go for the faint play again. Rolled in rock slide. Mouse hold, you did wonderfully, honey. And I'm out. Oh, double confusion. Wow. Um, so they have one Pokemon in the back. Uh Mouse hold up speeds their whole team now. Dream speed, uh, Aqua Jet. Um I mean, fake out's never wrong. And they've already used their Terra, so they can't Terra Ghost if it's Toxapex. It is Azu. Azu does not have Protect. So I think we just... Uh, I don't know if it'll kill Azu. But... I'm gonna fake out the Azu and Thunderbolt the Azu. Yes. And Pelipper... It also has Hydro Pump. Okay, good to know. I don't think this, this KOs. Ooh, come on, get through the confusion. Damn. You got two confusions and two hit yourself in confusions. Oliver missed a Hydro Pump? Okay, that, that uh, undoes it. Um. 
nuzzle the pelipper and I want you. Don't you dare, Rotom. I can solve that, but it will not kill. Oh, that's huge. Okay, it, they got the confusions. I got the paralyzed. You know, it's, we, we both got lucky, but I'm in better position where I am. Um, I'm not, not great against either of them. I saw click revival blessing and thunderbolt. Bull bear. Wow. Okay, I, I got luckier. I got luckier for sure. Nice. I'm out of confusion. Don't need to worry about that again. Combat Thunderbolt. All right. This is the Flavor Town. Uh, my match in the tournament is just beginning. Um, just trying to link up with my opponent here. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's open team sheet, so I know their team, they know my team. Um... I already had a plan made because I had time to study their team, so I'm leading Palm Up plus Mimikyu with Armor Rouge and Rotom in the back. So their switch ins I need to be concerned about are Mouse Hold uh, resisting the Ghost and uh, um, Dango resisting the Fake Out. Their Mouse could tear a Ghost Fake Out. Um, the Fake Out as well. Nope, it's a stronger start than my last tournament. Very happy. Oh, I need to refill my water. Do I dare run? I'll do it after the next game. Okay, this is one that I was scared of. Um, so we want to how do I want to play this? 
And fake out uh, breaks my sash as well. Um, I'm gonna click fake out on the mouse hold and switch to armor rouge. Oh, they use protect over okay. Cool. If they spored this slot, then everything's great. If they spored uh, my uh, Palmot, then things are not as good, but... Yeah, they spored into the safety goggles. Perfect. I called that correctly. Um, so now... They could have Goldango in the back. Um... It could protect the, um, what's it called? I think I'm down to close combat the mouse hold slot and uh, armor cannon the mouse hold slot that covers for both. And if they rage powder, that's fine. They, I'm expecting protect from the, they did not protect, okay. I uh, have like a decent chance of surviving population bomb, but it's not guaranteed is the way I've uh, trained my defense. Uh, that crit means I probably won't survive unless I get a miss. Oh no, I did survive. Okay, they got low damage rolls. I'm very glad I switched to a bold nature on uh, on this guy. It survives, that's annoying. Now they have Protect and I assume it's Regenerator? Yes. Regen. Um... Could switch into Mimikyu, break my sash. Could... Double switch. Oh, this, uh... This little nerd's an issue. I'm gonna click close combat. Actually, no, I'm gonna click close combat into the Amoongus. No, yeah. I'm gonna click close combat into you. Neither of you guys having protect is an issue. I'm gonna dark ball scrap. Oh crap. I wish I had targeted the Amoongus as well. was a problem that I didn't do that. Um, Alright, let's get a play rough off. What is their Terra type? It is fire. Um, I'm going to click close combat into Amoongus and I'm going to click I think still play rough. Um, you don't want to put Shadow Claw. I'm expecting the Amoongus to protect, but I was wrong about that last turn. Yeah, I'm gonna put Claire off. Assume they're terra -ing. And who do I have in the back? I have uh, Rotom as well. Rage powder. Oh, so I uh, target that slot. That's the problem. Wait, no, this is okay because I woke up. All right, but now they get a free switch in. Is a problem. So this is their end game, though. Whatever their fourth is, I still have Mons in the back. I did just break my sash. They go heatwave. Yeah. Ooh. 
They are outflow critical hit on Palma. Oh, yeah, of course, it's a crit there. Uh, so all my enemies and packs are guaranteed to crit because of uh, how they set themselves up. So that is what we call in the business a bad. All right, this is our end game. Oprah Hydro Pump hits. And, uh, well, Dango has specs. It'd be trick, honestly. Um, I'm more scared of the Hydrogen. I'm gonna uh, target the Hydrogen and click. Do I want Protect or Shadow Sneak? Yes, Protect. Expecting the Heat Wave. Yeah, they played better than I did. Um, so I needed to paralyze the dragon since I couldn't play rough it. I just want to see how much Shadow Sneak does to Hydrogen. Does 20%. And that's when it's not when it's Terrad. All right, game one loss. Honestly, they outspeed me. Do I want to just try and trick room? I've never actually clicked Trick Room with my team before. Let's try it. I think it's I think it's right here in this matchup. They are so fast. Um, do I want Dragonite? What's cool Dango's speed tier? I think Rotom outspeeds it, but I'm not sure. Um, extreme speed's nice. They're prepared for Mimikyu, it seems. Nah, I think I'm still gonna bring Mimikyu. It's, it's really good. They can't tear out everything. The same. I look different. Um, ooh, I do not want a trick room for that scenario. So which one do I fake out? Guess the mouse hold and I armor cannon. I get it wrong. Though so they check to Mungus. Then it's fine, I guess. Then nothing happens, effectively. Terra Amoongus, that's one of the bad case scenarios. They did. Oh no, it's Terra Ghost on the mouse. That is also bad. I did not account for that. I should have. Maybe Nuzzle the mouse is the right play. Now they've used their Terra, so now Mimikyu can sweep through stuff more easily. I 
I don't think Armor Cannon can KO. I think it only does like 90%. Yeah. That's a problem. Are they just finishing it off? Yep, they are just finishing it off. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I lose my sash, but I think I want to nuzzle the Amoongus, or actually close combat the Amoongus. Yeah, close combat all out speed and Shadow Claw the Mouse Fold. I'll speed my own Mimikyu. I always am expecting them to protect their Amoongus, but they have not ever done it. Oh, that makes sense. Come on, get the miss. There's a 1% for a minute. Sorry. All right. Well, I get the, I get rid of the Amoongus, and now they have to bring in something in the back. Um, so the mouse hold has follow me. I need mean, maybe. Oh no, that's not a problem. I mean, it is a problem, but okay. So I should have nuzzled the mouse hold. Hmm. I think I'm going to target Thunderbolt, Terra, Shadow Claw. I believe Mimikyu outspeeds. It withdrew, okay. Is it Garchomp? That would attack the region. Okay, so they resist and resist. Ooh. Thankfully, the mouse hold can't damage Mimikyu, but... That's the good news, that I did not target into the Protect. That's big. That's big. That paralysis is huge. Um, and I'm just gonna Thunderbolt and Shadow Claw here. Follow me. I was anyway. Should I have Terra Blasted? Um... Uh, I should have Terra Blasted it in technically stronger. Got a burn. Chip damage could be significant. Does their Hydrogen Carry Protect? Does. The Goldango does not. And I should outspeed. I think we got this game. Um, Hero Blast Hydrogen. Shadow Claw Goldango. Very dicey, but we did pick up the game to win.
They are a very strong player. They're making very good switches, um, which I'm is definitely something I'm not great about. Paddle again with the same rules. Okay, so I still like Palmont. I still fear Murkrow, but now I know to nuzzle the mouse hold. Um... Like these four, which order do I want to bring them? So they've been bringing Amoongus. I could tear a fire the Amoongus. Um... I think I'm going to go with the same lead as last game, but this time I will nuzzle the uh, mouse if they go the same lead. Unless they big brain me and switch into the Garchomp, but... They did do this, okay. Um, so what are their switch ins for the? Uh, it would be Garchomp and Hydreigon. And Hydreigon eating a uh, thing is still really bad. Do I could close combat the Gold. Do I close combat the Gold Gango slot? I'm actually tempted to. I'm doing it. Let's combat the Gold Gango, Armor Cannon, the Murkrow. I'm going for it. I think they're switching into Hydreigon. They've been making such good switches, I'm going to choose to predict that they're making a good switch and capitalize off of it. They will have Tailwind up, which will be an issue. Okay, that's a problem. I'll get the Murkrow, but I won't get the um, Goldango. Just make it rain. Both of us resist. Oh crap, the Murkrow survives. That's something I didn't anticipate. Um... Alright, so I threw the game by making my overprediction. How do I bring it back? Now they get Tailwind up. I just double switch. I'm gonna close combat the Murkrow and Armor Cannon the Gold Gango. I assume they're setting up Tailwind. Oh no, they're not. They just went for an attack. Okay. They, 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 they let me get back into it. Them not getting the Tailwind up is huge for me. The gold thing about speeds, I think. Oh no, but it has a drop. So it will not kill Armorouge. Okay. Okay. I wish I knew who they had in the back. 
to know which one of mine is the best to bring in here. I can preserve the armor rouge. Um, both of my guys have protect, actually. Um, I think I'm gonna, gonna go mimic you because switching Rotom into Garchomp's good. Switching um, Rotom into Hydrogen's not so good. And then mimic you can target down the Hydrogen. Mouse hold. Well, the mouse can't hurt the mimic you. Um, so I need to preserve the mimic you. Um, I'm going to click. Oh, they're they're gonna protect the mouse. So um, I'm gonna protect and armor cannon targeting. Hydrogen if they protect the mouse. Although I assume I know heatwave I'm immune to. Oh, population bomb, that makes lots and lots of sense. Oh shit, if they're going focus energy, I threw. Okay, they did go heat wave. Okay. I preserved my sash, thingamajig. Okay, so we want play rough the mouse hold, and I'm gonna click hydro pump targeting hydrogen. Oh, this is bad actually. It can one shot Rotom. I'm gonna protect Rotom. What did I use last? Oh, I used Protect last. Ooh, they caught me. Ooh, they caught me good. Oh no, and they're about to catch Rotom with it. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, they are very skilled. Um... You can only use protect, okay? And you are going to click Hydro Pump. Oh, this is bad. Hey, I got the double. Population Bomb, I live that. Uh, but I don't outspeed the, uh, the thing. So it comes down to what attack are they using, and does that attack kill me? I thought I live. Okay, yeah. So if it hits Rotom, it kills me. Yeah, shoot. Jeez, and I'm just perma locked into this. Because, uh... Is it outspeed me? So I guess I'll have to Shadow Sneak next turn. Encore, but now they can encore me again. I think I click Shadow Sneak. We're just hoping we're hoping for Heat Wave and Draco Meteor misses. I 
So then at least I'm attacking and this forces them to, uh... To follow me. They did connect with our Draco Meteor, so they are at minus two. Oh, the huge crit. Try to click Shadow Claw. I mean, you can only use Shadow Sneak. All right, they just got Nongor off. Um, I mean, if they follow me, it goes redirected into the mouse. There's not. I mean, there's no play I can make. I don't have any choices. Yeah. All right. Good game. Well played. I got, got bad by those Encores. I haven't played with or against Encore before that, so I didn't quite realize how I was harming myself. All right, this is what I'm thinking. Those two, I'm in trouble. Um, but I think it's fine. Right, flame Orb, Focus Sash, Clear Amulet on the Guard Shop. That's good. That's useless against me. Wide Lens, Life Orb, Terra Fire again. Okay. Yama. Okay, so they got a fake out. Um, which slot do they target with fake out? Do I wide guard? Do I checked? I'm expecting uh, icy wind. Oh, it could be shadow ball. Um, fake out into the mouse hold is fine. I'm gonna click thunder wave into Gengar. And Dark Pulse in the Gengar. They got Armor Rouge, I'm less happy. I could switch out, but I'm. I think I'm gonna tear. Yeah. Look at the resisted. <laughs> they go for close combat. There's no way they go for close combat turn one. They're faking out the mouse. Okay, they did go for the Shadow Ball, so I played correctly.
Oh, disabled my dark pulse. That's gross. Um, ugh. Do I population bomb the Hariyama? What's they don't have a well, they have an Amunga switch in. Um, oh, I can Thunder Wave the Gengar to get it dead, but then my armor each dies to the Hariyama. I'm gonna population bomb the Hariyama and uh, armor cannon, or do I wanna click Trick Room? I have a Moongus. Trick Room is dangerous. I'm gonna armor cannon the Gengar. Damn it, they withdrew. Are they going into a Moongus? Gen 4. Okay, that's not a Moongus. That's uh, Karchomp. Okay, it uh, also has uh, Rough Skin. I have Mimikyu in the back for that. I don't think Gengar can kill me. I mean, now any priority move can finish off the uh, Garchomp, so that's good. Blood Bomb, good damage. Oh, and a poison. Not good enough. I believe I bring out Mimikyu. And uh, so I can bring out Mousehold. That's what I'm scared of here. I believe I bring out Mimikyu. Oh, Terra, their Mousehold is normal though. Um, If they bring out Mousehold, I'm not. They protect? They bring out anything else. You know, Moongus is the worst. Adrian. Um. Should we, I'm gonna bring out Plumot. I'm not happy about it. What the Hariyama again? Okay. Um. I think I'm going to fake out the Garchomp and uh, Armor Cannon the Hariyama. Alright, okay, that's fine. That's actually good because um, that means I don't take rough skin, so I keep my sash. Did they go for a fake out? If so, I misplayed. Yeah, I should have fake out of the Hariyama. Well. But now their Garchomp can't protect. It could switch out. Into Hydrogen. Alright, so. I think I want to click Revival Blessing. And Shadow Sneak. I already Terrans, so I don't have that as an option. Okay. Get the Garchomp down. Which one's the Hariyama going for? Actually, knock off on the Mimikyu would be scary. As, uh, that would mean I lose my life orb, and that's a significant damage source. I'm gonna do Mouse Hold. Oh, 
Okay, it is Hydrogen, so I think... Mm, they, have, they have not used their Terra, though. Um... Nuzzle the Hydrogen. Play rough the Hariyama. Or do I Shadow Sneak? Or do I Protect? I think I Protect. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, they protect. Okay. Do they target into me or no? Do they target into my Palmot or into my Mimikyu? They do go into the Mimikyu. So that was bad for me. I could recycle my, my Focus Sash. Um... Can Hydrogen kill us both? It might be able to. But I outspeed. I'm gonna go for Nuzzle again and Shadow Sneak. I need to get the damage in. Actually, do I? And I'm gonna play Rock Ariana. Yeah, I like that. This mouse hole could finish it off in the end game. I think we got this. Because my nerd out speeds. <laughs> I got a crit, that's funny. I mean, play rough could miss. There's a, oh geez, I call it, I willed it into existence. Oh geez. Mimikyu dodged, though. Does Mimikyu survive Hariyama? There's no way. Oh, it does, because it doesn't have an item to get knocked off. <gasps> okay. I need to see Hariyama. Hariyama, and we are, um... Mimikyu... That'll probably do 50%? Not enough, I have to go through a play rough. Relation Bomb Hydrogen. Play rough Hariyama. They should be going Protect on Hydrogen, but if they don't, um... Then Population Bomb kills it. Um, and so it's just the 10% miss on... Uh, on... whatever the hell my attack is. They're off. Okay. I think we win. Life Orb finishes myself off, though. So we have a 99% chance. We have a, like, 95%. Oh, my, I lost my Life Orb. It does not fall off. Oh, okay. We got there. That was rough. That was rough. So which did they lead? They led Gengar Hariyama. All right. 
They did not bring Mousehold or Amoongus, is what they chose not to bring. Mousehold still outspeeds Gengar. And I think I want to just fake out their Haryama. And Mimikyu's great. Rotom's great. Armor Rouge is okay. I think I'll bring Rotom this time instead of Armor Rouge. But this lead, if they lead the same, I expect them to click Icy Wind. They have no speed. Well, they have Icy Wind as their speed control. Oh, okay, this time they let Amoongus. Very similar. Um... If the Amoongus Rage Powders, um, then what happens? Amoongus Rage Powders. I'm going to fake out so it can't, I think. I want to nuzzle it, but, uh, Dangerous. Please protect that's good that's good for me. That means I keep my focus sash. Unfortunately, Gengar does. Well, no, there's no. Unfortunately, Gengar does still take two hits to KO, and actually, neither of my nerds on the field can damage it. Um, I really want to take Icy Winds. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna. Switch to Rotom and try and paralyze the Amoongus. I have found that to be an effective way to deal with them. I wish I had brought Armor Rouge, but they baited me by not bringing Amoongus the first game. Okay, free switch in. Okay, they're both paralyzed. That's good for me. Um, I do not have my revive, so I need to keep that in mind. The mouse hold is a little injured. Mimic you. Um, they have a edge region in the back. Could resist. What Mimic you is about to do. Um, I think I like going for Terra Blast onto. Um, this guy, they Rage Powdered last turn. They could be protecting or they could be Rage Powdering. Um, do I want to give them a free switch in? No, so I think I'm going to target that and Shadow Claw. Did I click that right? Do Terra Blast targeting you and Shadow Claw targeting you. See if they rage powder and if they break through the paralysis. I assume this is not KO because damn, that thing's bulky. They did protect, okay. What does the Gengar do? Does it get fully paralyzed? That would be ideal. Obviously. Icy Wind connects on both. Unfortunate. Breaks my sash. 
We still have Injured, Mousehold in the back. Garchomp I need to figure out a way around. Um, so we'll now Terra Blast you and... I'm gonna... Ugh. I click Play Rough. I'm gonna click Play Rough in case of a switch in. Into the Gengar slot. 10% miss would be awful, but... It is what it is. Gengar got fully paralyzed. That's good. Please, if this kills the Rotom, we can just leave the Gengar there. Kill. Ugh. Do I click Hydro Pump? In case of a switch in to Garchomp is what I'm worried about. I think I have to Terra Blast. And... I'm gonna again... Click Player Off. Oh, it kills! Was that a crit? Okay, so I pick up a double knockout here. I still have a uh, mouse hold in the back. Got speed now, okay. I do not pick up a... Oh no, I do pick up a double KO still. But then I get my mouse hold in for free. And they have not Terra'd. Mousehold. Hold. region. That gets a Thunder Wave. Or Population Bomb. Gen 4 was Garchomp? Yeah. Garchomp's a problem. Um, uh... Three attacks on the Hydreigon, three attacks on the Garchomp. Um, where's the Protect going? Do I just target one and one? I don't know if I can survive that. I think I'm going to click Hydro Pump into Garchomp, Population Bomb into Hydreigon is how I'm going to play it. Okay, Protect, that's fine. You're not killing me. Gar Garchomp can't kill us both. Well, maybe you can. Earthquake's pretty scary. I'm so bulky. Okay, um, we go for the same play. Unless I want to redo a protect and go for a faint. No, I don't think so. Yeah, Rock Slide does not scare my Rotom, even uh, Terrifier. <laughs> Smell victory, which is dangerous. It's making me cocky. And there is the 20% that I miss. Wow, they gotta double protect. Yeah, going for a double protect and then the 20% that I missed, that, that's a very good play. This Earthquake picks up the KO on the mouse hold, and then uh, Hydrogen could probably win the 1v1 versus Rotom. That was well played. That was well played. Uh, 
items. They have Terra Fire. I think I want to paralyze them though, so I think I go for Thunderbolt. Go for Protect. For any reason to? I don't think so. Um, they should probably Dark Pulse. I wonder if they're going to Draco Meteor. Yeah, they did Draco, they did Connect, so I think that kills me. Yep, game two loss. They found the way to win, and the double protect was it. If they hadn't gotten that, I think we would win good. Well played. Well played on the double protect. All right, last one for all the marbles. So whoever wins this advances, like, well, at least if I win this, I advance. I don't know their record. I don't think I brought Dragonite all tournament. <laughs> Is this the time? I mean, they do keep outspeeding me, so actually it might be. do like Mimikyu. Um, I think I'm gonna try a no Pama game. Because it doesn't put offensive pressure on them in the right ways. Um, I'm gonna Dragonite, Armor Rouge, Rotom. Mouse Holder, Mimikyu. I guess Mimikyu is probably a little better. I won't have any... Uh, no, wait, then I won't have any Paralysis. Dragon, Dragonite Mouse Holds. Uh, what was I thinking? A Mimikyu is good. Armor Rouge covers some things. And getting up a Trick Room could help if they have their endgame dragons. This mouse does not have Ghost. Switch their mouse into Garchomp, that's a problem. Um, I like Ice Spinner. Which do I want to target with it, though? I think the, the Rock. Um... Tempted to target their mouse hold. I'll target, I'll target that and protect. I don't know what is correct here. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're going for a Terra. Is it Terra um, on the uh, Moogus? Yeah, so protect from the uh, dice. Interesting. Makes you a lot weaker to Rotom. Did I bring Rotom? I don't think I brought Rotom. Tanky. Um. Does experience speed kill mouse hold? This technician, uh, extreme speed doesn't come close. Dragon Claw has a chance, but, uh,. Dragon Claw and Thunder Wave. I 
Your mouse can't kill us both. I outsped their mouse. Could have been a tie. Come on, get a miss. 1% each of these hits. Alright. Uh, armed the Amoongus. Decent damage. I think extreme speed does it. Uh, click Dragon Claw and click Play Rough, I think. No, oh, I don't like that. I should have extreme speeded. And that means they're getting off a spore. Oh, that's bad. I'm playing for Rage Powder only and bad things have happened. At least that hit, but it survived, and I'm asleep. This with a sliver. I don't see my path to victory in this game at this point from the mistakes that I've made. Five here, but I'm at one HP with no protection. You got the KO even. Val! Welcome in, Raiders! Unfortunately, you are in right as I lose the tournament. <laughs> I'm about to pick up my second loss, which I think eliminates me. Um. <laughs> my disguise was busted. Uh, I'm asleep, and actually the mouse hold can't touch me. I'm gonna go for... into the mouse hold slot, because I expect it to switch out. Hello, everybody, welcome! Um, so we are in a tournament. This is game three of my fourth match, and I'm in a very, very, very bad position. Because um, my opponent still has four Pokemon and I have one and it's asleep. That's not good. <laughs> I don't think you need to be a competitive Pokemon master to know that's not good. <laughs> Ugh, another time to sleep. <laughs> okay, paralysis giving me a chance. Uh, all right, so I'll, I'll leave the Amoongas out there. <laughs> you woke up, you just play raw. All right, can Mimikyu 1v1 these dragons? That's the question. I'm a glass cannon and I'm already badly injured. And the Among Us is gonna kill me eventually. What else do they have on their team? It's open team sheet, so I know their, their entire team. Adrian, all right, that dies to some stuff. Like, uh, they have already Terrat actually, so. Uh, all right, if they Basically, if they don't click Dark Pulse, they have a chance to miss. Oh, wait, Rage Powder. It still exists. They click to the correct move, and I lose. Who would win? A team of dragons or a sack hiding in otherworldly horror? <laughs> uh, I think this knocks me out of the tournament. I'm not entirely sure. 
how things proceed from here. Um, um, let me text up and go figure out what's going on. Val, how are you? All right, opponent has been found. Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, so they have two things that are immune to fire, which I brought for King Gambit. So that's a problem. I have fighting, but it's Terra flying as well, just for which I have electric. So Rotom is good for it. They do not have Trick Room. Um, they do not have Trick Room. I definitely want Rotom in the Mimic use good against backs, good against armor rouge. Um, it's okay against Teriyama. Not good against Salazzle. Um, I mean, fake out's never wrong. They got Mimic you. I don't want Dragonite against Dash Bun. I don't think I want Dragonite at all. Um, Mouse Hold the Dash Bun will be a problem, but it's good against a couple of the other things. I definitely want Rotom. Uh, my only option for dealing with King Gambit is the Rotom, so I need something else for it, so I think I need the Armor Rouge. So that's how I'm gonna play it. Wish me luck! It brought the combo. Hmm. Not outspeeds in a big way. I think I like fake out. Armor Rouge and I feel like it's gonna Terra or Switch. Um Play Rough into the bun or Shadow Claw into the bun. Is there a switch in for the bun? Um there's a mischance, I think I'm gonna go with Shadow Claw. I might maybe I should have protected, but I think I'll protect doesn't accomplish anything here. Play rope doesn't even KO. Um, come on, do I want to keep you in the back? I think I do. That means switch to my own armor rouge and go for Shadow Claw onto theirs. Yep. Maybe I should have Terra Shadow Clawed. I don't know. I don't know my armor calx. Nope, wasn't necessary. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, so maybe it was necessary. <clears throat> All right, preserved my fake out and my revival blessing. Crunchy break my sash. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have to be wearing sucker punch. 
I mean, assuming it's King Gambit, and Ice Shard from Bax. It is King Gambit, so there's a chance for Sucker Punch. Um, I think we Terra Armor Cannon. And they, if they have Bax Caliber in the back, is how this goes bad. Um, but it's, it's still big damage. Even if it gives it the attack boost. Does it have protect? It does have protect. Um, do I want to switch the Mimikyu? Rotom would take a dash bun something. I don't think so. Um, I'm just going to protect Mimikyu since I don't know what to do. Resisting Sucker Punch sounds good. Oh, although if the dash button's going play rough into me, that's an issue. Ooh. Did they do that? I, I was a fire type. Oh, it looks like that's what they did. Crunch. Okay, good. Okay. So we used their, our protects. My armor cannon, and I guess Shadow Claw. This bun is such a problem. Do I switch to Rotom? What else do they have? Uh, no, Rotom's pretty good into most of their stuff. I want to preserve it full health. Um, let's go Shadow Call the Bun, I guess. I don't love it. All right, well, eating an armor cannon is going to hurt whatever's coming in. Hariyama? Pick that. Oh, wow. It's not, uh, Guts. And the bun is going fighting. Oh, my. If I'd, uh... If I'd play rough instead of Shadow Claude, that would be huge. Unfortunately, I'm not that smart. Oh, wait, out beads? Uh oh. Oh, I take it. Beautiful. Holy shit. That thing took that way too well. All right, so I want Mimikyu to get kills. Um, I go for a flinch. Hariyama, what does Hariyama have? Oh, it could be fake outing here. I can't fake out that guy. Um, I think I click. Dark Pulse for the flinch chance, and I click Play Rough onto Dash Bun. They protect, okay. And interesting, they did not uh, fake out. Do they have fake out? They do have fake out. Come on, flinch. Okay. Blessing off. Although it lost the life orb, that's bad. Dark pulse. Could nuzzle. I can fake out. Um. I target the palm out, fake out. Um, 
No, because I'm doing no damage to the thing. Yeah, so I need the Revival Blessing. to heal up a little bit. I didn't look at their moveset properly. They still have something in the back as well. benefit in protecting Rotom rather than attacking Hariyama? I don't think so. so. I mean, the plan is kill the Dash Bun. Although the Bun's not that threatening. Um, maybe I Thunderbolt the Bun and play her off the Hariyama. Let me... Ashman's special defense is 80 to half. I think that's I think this is the play. Protect, okay. I'm glad I think I played right then. Unless the player off misses, but that's the risk you take. Okay, good. What is their final Pokemon in the back? Is what this comes down to. With King Gambit, we knew that. I do not have Terra Fire for it, sadly. Um, what is this King Gambit set? It is Protect, Kowtuck, Leave, Sucker, Sucker Punch. Um, so we Thunderbolt the King Gambit and we play rough the Dash Bun. Hey, oh, I should have double targeted the Dash Bun actually, in case I miss um, Play Rough or something like this happens. Shoot. Thankfully, they never got a well baked body off. Paralyze, paralyze. Dang. Um, I'm going to click protect, scout for their protect. Their attacks can miss. And I have to hope the Citrus Berry is godlike. And I'm banking on this um, Hydro Pump hitting. Dash Bun outspeeds? Ooh, that's gross. Okay. And one loss. Okay, that did not go well. If I'd target if I correctly targeted the dash bun, I would have had a chance. I still think I would have lost, but that's a big mistake. It's those kind of mistakes that I can't see in the moment. I have to run an ad. I will stall out the um the selection screen here. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Bum, bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum. 
I think I want to lead Rotom this time. I want like a Rotom Armor Rouge lead. Do I want to try Mouse Holds? Rotom Mouse Holds. What about this? I have late, late game fake out, I have early game out speed, everything except the Salazzle. Um. And I'm not scared from the Rotom into the Salazzle. <laughs> this makes sense. I got two focus sashes in the back. Priority, I have just the mimic you. I mean, and fake out, but. So Max Calibre and Salazzle, I did not see. What is Dashbun's speed? 90, base 95, wow. Dash bun. They do the same thing. I did not do the same thing. Um, so they could Terra Grass, and Terra Fighting. Um, they can protect. Um, their Armor Rouge does not have protect. Does have Ally Switch. Um, I'm gonna Population Bomb the Armor Rouge. Um, and Thunderbolt the bun, I think. Switch in, they don't have a ground switch in. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh wow, no switches, no Terras, no Protects. Oh, the bun's gonna kill the mouse, is what's about to happen. Yeah, the bun's killing the mouse. Yikes. I'm gonna mimic you. I'm hoping they go for Protect, but... I mean, play rough, and if they don't, it's sad, but... Yeah, I'm gonna play rough the Bun and Thunderbolt the... Ooh, the Cloud Defense boost. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna Shadow Sneak the Armor Rouge and Hydro Pump the Bun, I think. It looks like that'll pick up the KO. Drew, okay. King Gambit, okay, so that takes a small hit. Crunch, break my sash, okay. Thank God that connected. Um, I don't like protect switching to Palma here. Um, I 
I assume I just take a fake out. And then I get to fake out. Are they Terra stealing, I'm guessing? Okay, that makes sense. And now I have uh, close combat into that. I'm hoping their King Gambit went for um, Sucker Punch. Unfortunately, that breaks my sash. And they went for Iron Head, but into the Mimikyu. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Fake out and switch. And revival blessing. I could close combat. Um, out speed. Although, I think I'm gonna pivot and close combat. Nice! Oh, that's so good for me. Okay, that's not as good, but... Um... Um, um, um... They have three... Do we know what they have in the back? Do they have armor rouge in the back? They have armor rouge in the back. So going for a... Fire sounds risky. I think I'm gonna Hydro Pump the King Gambit and Close Combat the Hariyama. Okay. Um, wish I wish I'd done the other. Uh, if I'd done the other, I would be in such a. Oh wait, no, that. Uh, but dies. I forgot it was almost dead. Oh, but they recycle their fake out by doing this. Oh, and the King Gambit didn't go for uh, the priority move. Oh, big crit. Do I want to recycle my fake out? Um, or I could serve uh, the blessing thing. Get back mouse holds. And Gambit's almost dead. Yeah, I think I do want to recycle my thing. Um, so let's act and switch. So they get no damage from fake out if that's what they're going for. If they're going for Zucker Punch, that's great. Fake out, okay. Sucker Punch, beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I still have Terra in the back. Okay, we're we're we're, we're chilling, we're chilling. Um, they do both have protect. I will Thunderbolt and Shadow Sneak, or do I protect? Yeah, I think I Shadow Sneak. Uh. Sucker Punch probably kills me. Oh, they didn't go for it. Oh, but it doesn't t kill them. They're so defensive. Oh, that's bad. That's that's really bad. What? Why did Sucker Punch fail? What just happened?
Oh, because I went for Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak out Sned, out Sped, okay. If they're smart, they go for uh, Protect on King Gambit and uh, attack Mimic you with Hariyama. But I, but I have priority. Oh, but, but they, yeah, no, so I should have attacked the Hiriyama with it. Oh, wow, they went for that one. Okay, so nothing happened there. They used their protect, they got leftovers healing. Um, I think I go for a double protect, and I'm okay if it dies and gets a switch in. Because if they if it, if the King Gamut tries to go for it, that's good for me. Dumb failed. King Gamut tried for a double as well. Funny. Drain Punch and Knock Off. I assume they protect this turn, right? So I should just click Revival Blessing this turn. Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. And then I can tear up fighting. Revival Blessing and Shadow Claw. Oh, they did not. Oh, wow. Um, let's bring back Rotom. That was good damage. Which are they going for? Green Punch. Oh, but I live. Oh my. I think I tear a fighting close combat. And then I still have Rotom in the back. I never thought I would actually use this. And here we are. I'm glad we had the Cinderace event, so I got the fighting shards, so I was willing to just eh, use them. Protect fair. Okay, game two win. What a game! That was awesome! I want to rewatch that one. All right, on to game three. Dragonite any good here? I don't think so. Good against the Lazzle. Kind of, because they have Will-O-Wisps, so not as much. Um, I think I still want to try it. Um, what, Dragonite Pomot with Rotom Mimikyu? 
Oh, it's assault vest max caliber. I want a mimic you. Do I want a Rotom? I mean, Rotom is just always solid. And the dragon is the only thing that resists both water and electric. If they have the dragon, I have Mimikyu. And then I have fire if, uh, well, I probably shouldn't fire into a max caliber. <laughs> YOLO! I'm a Slazzle! That's what I thought. Is that double fake out? Uh, the Slazzle does not have fake out. Dragonite's immune to fake out. Ooh. And the Slazzle does have protect. Nothing in the back is currently flying. So I can click Stomping Tantrum here. And. Do I want to? F I, yeah, I mean, yes, I should fake out. I guess I should fake out the Salazzle as well. In that case, do I want to stop tantrum it still? Um, shoot. Stop tantrum the Salazzle, fake out the Hariyama. Okay, at least I take no damage. They've used their, their thing. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay, so they, they take, they, they've used both their protects. Hmm. Um, so what could switch in? What's the best thing to click here? Probably just Dragon Claw into Hariyama and Nuzzle into Salazzle. That is unfortunate. Break your sash, reduce your speed. You are significantly neutralized. Punch, yep. Oh wow, that was a lot of healing. Stomping tantrum there and nuzzle there. Let's try and spread paralysis. And protect, that's fine. Nice, full para, beautiful. Um, if they go for knockoff, I'm unhappy. I do want to keep my revival blessing? Knockoff into Rotom wouldn't be the worst. I think I'll switch into Rotom. Um, so we will once again stomping tantrum Salazzle. You will switch into Rotom. I think I, I think preserving um, Amat sounds valuable. All right, I lose my assault vest. Dragonite's done more than done its job. It pressured the Salazzle, is what I wanted to do. I wasn't expecting it to kill the Salazzle. I was expecting it to take more damage, but 
Um, we're in a strong position. We still have Palmot with Fake Out in the back or Revival Blessing. And I outspeed everything except for the Max Caliber. Uh, Ice Shard. It's their only priority. Well, they have the King Gambit, of course. Do I want to tear a fire? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna ice spinner and thunderbolt. I go for a protect. I'm very sad. Um. Maybe I hydro pump Hariyama. Oh god. Now, Hydro Pumping Hariyama might have been a mistake. Oh, I miss anyway. I ran out of time and then I clicked it faster than intended. you to try and kill you. I'll Rotom to protect. Ariyama use protect, okay. What did the King Gambit go for? Okay, targeted Rotom. Okay, 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 okay. Back, I have my secret weapon. They're off there. Thunderbolt there. Please be Terra flying. No, Terra Steel, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, that's huge. Do I go for Terrafire? No, it has a uh, thick fat. Um, but what else am I Terra-ing? I think I do. Checked. Try and Terrafire the Hariyama. So bulky. Iron head into that one, thank you. You also target Mimikyu. Oh, full para. Oh, 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 this is why I like the para strats for these long drawn out fights. You get some.
I'm gonna click Shadow Claw into Hariyama and Terra Blast on the King Gambit. Oh, this switch could be huge for me. Well, the fact that I didn't target that slot is certainly huge for me. Um, but they're gonna—they get fake out back and just protect through it. Then I'm have protected and I'm open. So we're in the end game, but I have uh, stuff in the back still. Ashman body plus play ref, cover attack, or punch, protect. The Hariyama has fake out. Um, I think. Ooh, but it could get fully paralyzed. Ooh. I do like it getting fully paralyzed. Um. Out speed with you. I'm gonna play rough the bun. Terra blast the Hariyama. Oh, fully paralyzed fake out. Oh, I got so lucky. I mean, you know, you you can't get these lucky moments if you don't use the moves that have the lucky things. But uh, oh, that's rough for my opponent. Oh shit, it lived? Oh boy. This just got harder. Um, Revival Blessing Protect? Yeah, I like that. Which one do I bring back? Uh... the extreme speed could be a little more valuable. Ooh, you left the Rotom alive. Okay, I guess you outspeed the Rotom. You don't quite fear it as much. Oh shoot, I oh, know Dragonite's not burned anymore, it died. Who targets who? Not protecting. I think. Do I just extreme speed dash bun? Yeah, that makes sense. Extreme speed dash bun, Terra Blast Hariyama, that makes sense. Salty Dolphin gave you a shout out. Thank you. Appreciate the follows, folks. I think we got this, but holy crap, is this tense. <laughs> They have played extremely well. Damn it! No! Oh, Rotom. Rotom, you're so amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Now I think we got this. Oh my god. Is there a reason to click protect? Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I'm so glad I started the game off with just spreading paralysis. Like, I never know if that's right or not. God, it worked well, this game, because it slowed the Salazzle, and then just the Hariyama I let live forever. That is 2-1 me. All right, good luck, everybody. So they are Tatsugiri, Dondozo, Miyotsukurata, Dragonite, Goldengo, Arcanine. I'm playing with Laundry. And I think... So I, if they lead Dragonite, I can just wreck their day with uh, Pomot Mimikyu. Um, I want Rotom in the back for Dondozo. And... Mouse hold. Oh, thank you so much, Sparks. Uh, I this is the semifinals, so apparently. And then for my fourth, I'm thinking mouse hold. Um, they don't have. Any, do they have anything that even resists normal? Just the Goldengo. Just the Goldengo. Ooh, that's interesting. Do they have anything that resists fighting? Just the Dragonite and the Goldengo. Good to know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna bring mouth hold fast. Can spread paralysis. Uh, mods, could you ban and report that, please? Oh. Uh, this is really good for me. Um, does the Goldango have... It is... Specs. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Um, so we fake out Tatsu. And we Shadow Claw. Terra Steel, I didn't think about. But it's fine. We both have a sash. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive with the Terra. <laughs> Critical hit on the Tatsugiri, funny. Tatsugiri's speed with a scarf. It is 147. What is Palmot's speed? Palmot's speed is faster. Oh my. Um, yeah. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh, apparently I've miscalculated. Apparently I read that wrong. Oh, because I read the I read the before scarf number. That's why. Well, I just threw. I just threw. Badly. Alright. Not over. Definitely not first loss. <laughs> and I can still win the match even if I look through this game. Mm 
Um, how much does Thunderbolt do? Dango Specs. Oh, well, they're probably switching out because they are at two drops. Thunderbolt should do it. I will Thunderbolt the Goldango. And... They switch out. Also gonna population on the Goldango. <laughs> yes. I clicked that right. Oh, Arcanine. That's not the one I expected. I was expecting uh, Dondozo. Best case scenario would be that uh, it KOs here and then Rotom attacks the Tatsugiri. Not with a Citrus Berry. Up the knockout. This Tatsugiri is so annoying. Uh, the Goldango outspeeds pretty badly now. Ooh, uh, Rotom resists really well. Well, what about the other, other moves? Power gem, shadow ball, probably well, probably thunderbolt, honestly. Um, thunderbolt and I'll protect. Then I take a resisted hit, it drops its special attack. To keep some mouse hold speed wasn't part of the plan, but oops. And that, that assumes it's using Mega Crane, which it might not be. It is using Mega Crane, they, they can't resist clicking that button. Do you know that I 4x resist that? Here comes Dondo, though. Chad's wave crash. Unless it's not Dondo, and it would support Tatsugiri. Would be very interesting. It is, oh, that is the case. Mouse hold is at only minus one speed. Dragonite is Lumberry. Uh, extreme speed is the best move on me. Um, Thunderbolt do good to Tatsugiri. Thunderbolt does about 50%. Ugh. I'm going to just target down Dragonite. And oh, do, do I Thunder Wave? I don't think so. I think I just Population Bomb. I think I just need to pick up the knockouts. Thank God Mousehold lives. Okay. Uh, what item is it on the Dragonite? It is Lumberry. Oh, I'm glad I didn't Thunder Wave, oh my God. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt should pick up this KO. Okay, I think despite my horrendous misplay, I think we pulled it out. I'm very surprised they went for uh, Make It Rain with the Goldango there.
We're chewing. Know how it lives. Um, thunderbolt, quick faint, a little chip. Chip, it killed. All right, win game one. That was lucky. Being up one out makes this so much better. We have a chance. I win one of the next two. No stress. The water's empty. That's okay. Um, this time. I think I'm gonna lead mouse hold. And maybe Dragon Knight? I don't know. Something like this. And I can get fake out out. good into their team? I don't think so. It's okay into... What's his name? The big guy? Dundozo. Enjoy your walks! Enjoy your dog! Stress, 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 stress! <laughs> <laughs> Who did I bring? Um, Dragonite. I know I had um, Rotom and uh, Tom on back. Who did I bring in front? Dragonite and um, a mouse. Right, so they are trying to outspeed. Hmm. They have ally switch, as well as the focus switch. They outspeed. Um. I don't want Gold Dango. Protect you and Stomping Tantrum you. Break your Focus Sash, and if you switch out, which you did not. Oh my god! I did not expect that! Okay. They switch into Goldango. They just get an attack off with Arcanine. It's not bad. 
I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna faint and extreme speed onto the Masquerada slot. I didn't Terra. Oops. I meant Terra. Flare Blitz also into Mouth Holds. Okay, if I terra that would have been better, but now I've reserved my Terra? For what that's worth? Um... Oh, Fake Out. Fake Out sounds good. Will Fake Out kill me, Ascarada? Almost. Take out the seven to eight percent. I think I'm willing to believe that, that will. And I will extreme speed the Arcanine. Although, I probably should have stomping tantrum the Arcanine, actually. Alright. They get a free switch. They have no protect on Arcanine. <laughs> Tatsugiri, the former Titan. <laughs> I mean, Arcanine can't protect, and if they switch that slot into Dondozo, hmm, they could Draco Meteor, which honestly I'm okay with. Yeah, I think I like close combat, and uh, Dream Speed. Ideally, Extreme Speed puts it to like 60% and then the Close Combat finishes it off. Ooh, Speed Falling there could be really bad. Because I probably drop below Arcanine. Oh, that's bad. Ooh. I didn't think about that detail of what was happening there. At least, God damn it. Oh, the, the recall now, it'll chew its berry. I didn't think about the speed drop, meaning that then the Arcanine would go before me. All right, Rotom. What's the Terra type on Arcanine? Normal? Um, I could Terra normal Dragonite. What could they have in the back? Goldango, I think. I think I'm down for Terra Normal. Dream Speed. And Thunderbolt into Tatsugiri. If they switch out Arcanine into Dondozo here. Oh, they're Terraing also. Probably the same. They still have a third Pokemon in the back, right? And I assume they have, yeah, their, their extreme speed will outspeed me. I'm bulky. Not the bulkiest thing ever. So many gems on so many heads. Protect with Rotom? I think I do. 
Uh, no, actually, I don't think I do. Bolt. Uh, what's in the what could be in the back? Not Miascarada, probably not Dondozo based on the way they play this. Could be Goldango. Um I'm gonna stomping tantrum into the Arcanine slot. Rotom now choose. Well, reason? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you for asking. Sorry, I wasn't looking at chat. Picks up the knockout. That actually could be huge. Who's your fourth? Who did you bring? Is it Dragonite? Is it Dondozo? Is it Goldanga? Huh? We use Blue Eyes White Dragon. It is Goldango, so I was correct to use the Stomping Tantrum. Protect. And. They have already Terrad. Dream Speed's useless. There's Stomping Tantrum. The ideal is that they make it rain, Dragonite survives, and then they get the special attack drop and we can just crush them. I don't know if Dragonite can survive. The specs, I don't think so. But the attack drop? <gasps> I was not expecting it to survive! Oh, okay. We got a game. Um, I mean, I'll quit like this. Like four X resist this. Oh, beautiful. And that was a crit. Wow. Oh my God. They, they, they just can't resist clicking the Make It Rain. I don't think Make It Rain was correct. I think they should have uh, Thunderbolted or Power Gem. Yeah. <laughs> I think Thunderbolt's higher power than Power Gem. Oh my God. That's 2-0. Final. Holy shit. I mean, the finals. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. 2-0, oh, Fargs! Yeah, hello! Ooh, uh, who won the other match? Uh, or is it still going? Dun, 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 dun. Studying my opponent's team, how I want to play. Uh, uh, an exclamation mark enemy, I, I linked their team. Chat. That's their team. I think I'm going to lead like... I think for game one, I know how I want to play. What is my fear? Yeah, I think I like that as my lead plan. All right, I'm ready. Oops, preparation's complete. All right. Let's go. Um, I am going to go Mouse Hold, Pomot, Rotom, Armor Rouge. This is what looks good. Um, Rotom's good into the Lilligant and the Sylveon and the Regiraf. Basically everything except for Gastron and Excalibur. Um, Armor Rouge is good into Torkoal. Yeah, I like this. Hey, finals is a strong run.
Okay, okay, okay. And ooh. Yes. Just realize the detail about their team. It is good for me. Um, <laughs> I think I'm just going to go for damage turn one. See what happens. Yep, that one's going into purple. Engineer the anxious. Ooh, the anxious mark. Ooh, I like that. The powder mist. Oof. That is unlucky for them with the wide lens. I don't know the odds specifically, but it's like 90% accurate or something. 87. didn't die. That's a shame. Crit. Wow. I wonder if that mattered or not. I have no idea. That is unfortunate for them. Yeah, I missed and I got a crit. I don't know if that crit mattered, but I do not know. I've never fought a Lilligant before. I don't know how strong it is. Excalibur can have Ice Shard. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't have Ice Shard. It has Icicle Bolt Spear. Um, could have Protect. Oracle could have Heat Wave. I mean, it does have Heat Wave. Um, what other switches? So they have Sylveon in the back and Unknown. Probably like Gastrodon or something. Um, I'm gonna population bomb and close combat. I'm gonna cover for switches. Terra Electric. I wonder if it's max speed, Bex Caliber. But I still have speed with Bomb Out. Later, nerd. Another crit? Oh, come on. I wanted a fair fight. Ooh, that's dangerous. Is it loaded dice? It is loaded dice. All right. Yes, very huzzah. <laughs> um, who, so they have Sylveon, and that's it, Sylveon. Um, Physical Spear, Terra, so Terra Blast, so they have Electric. Um, I'm gonna go Armor Rich. Um, let me see. They both have protect. They're on ground. It's interesting, but they've already terrored. Um, I 
the amount of faint and dark pulse on the Sylveon. I don't know if the Excalibur is protecting or what. Neither of them protected, okay. Alright, if they get a four hit, I might survive. Although they're probably using Hyper Voice, so we probably won't, and they got a five hit. Hmm, I might be in trouble. Hmm. Right in the back, Rotom. Hmm. Target is my problem. Uh, yes, Sylveon and you. And maybe I should have wide guarded. I don't. I don't know. I'll do good, my friends. These are the situations I don't know how to play. I don't know how to choose which I'm targeting with which, when, why. And why did I go for Dark Pulse? That actually made no sense. That did no damage. Nope, I resist that good. Click the same things. All in one. Ooh, I lost my electric resistance. Ooh, that could have been bad. Didn't think about that. And this could be a problem, because now I just dropped my defenses, so I can't take more Sylveon attacks. And it has quick attack, which I need to remember. Harsh Sunlight. Oh, I was under Harsh Sunlight. I should have been using Terra Blast. I'm a fool. Um... Thunderbolt and wide guard, I guess, because the uh, hyper voice could pick up the double knockout. Oh, they, they can see. Okay. Whew. Oh, those end game scenarios are so hard, but we won. I mean, we got those amazing crits early game. Oh, my God. Battle again. All right, so we did not see Rigiraf or Gastrodon. That game. I think I got lucky in the early game and then floundered in the end game. I don't think I will. It was well played. Um, this time. And they missed the sleep powder. It was huge.
I think I like the same four. If they hadn't missed the turn one sleep powder, I would have died instantly as well. Wormwood and backwards. Hmm. Over cloak? Uh, what just happened? Yeah, well, we'll just uh, redo with the same lids. Um... And everything looks fun? Yeah. Don't know why that happened. Admin save that works for both of us, that's fine, fine by me. No idea what happened. Who did I bring in the back door? I remember who I led. <laughs> mm -hmm. I blame Nintendo, right? Uh, chat, do you remember who I put had in the back? I don't remember. I think it was, uh, I know it was Armor Rouge and Rotom, I think. That sounds right. Finals, baby. We just had a disconnect. I won game one, and then we started game two and instantly disconnected before we could click any moves. So we're just restarting. You, 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 and you. Go. Thank you, Sana. Thank you for the follows. Appreciate it. I am also on YouTube and TikTok. I just yesterday at New Year's hit 100 followers on TikTok. I'm very excited. I had one uh, awesome clip of me predicting a Terra type very well go viral. Um, and YouTube, I just put a new video about EV training. So if you want to follow me there, it would be most appreciated. I would love to hit 100 on YouTube as well. Um, my goal was to hit it by the end by the, by the end of the year. We didn't quite reach it, but uh, if we can hit 100 on YouTube, I would be very happy. Um, it, unlocks, it unlocks more analytics. You can see things about your audience that could be useful. I don't know, because I can't see them. All right, that was my self promo. Population bomb you can't fake out because there's a for a draft on the team on the field rather. Honestly, I want to just double up into the draft slot. Um, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Clear Smog. Yeah, I think I like doubling up into this slot and just guaranteeing a knockout. Population Bomb might just do it by itself, but...
Not quite, as long as I, I doubled up. Oh no, Bama, you took damage. Nice tag team, yep. So I know that their team doesn't have protect on either of these Pokemon, so that helped me with my decision making there. Open team sheet is very useful. Oh, furry, is this the, um, thought this will be on again? Um, I mean, why on the back? Oh wait, they have a quick attack, right? They do have a quick attack. Um, but if they go for that, that means I can kill you. And let's switch to you. If they do protect, oh yeah, cool. They didn't go for a quick attack though. That paw had scared me. I thought that that last one was going to miss. It has a 1% chance each strike of missing because I'm holding the uh, increase its accuracy item. It's good to me. Is that Luza? <laughs> nice name. Population bomb that thing and uh any reason to wide guard? No, they don't have anything that's wide guardable. I guess we armor cannon also into this slot in case. Maybe dark pulse. I'm gonna dark pulse, because if we don't kill it then flinch and it doesn't resist. I know, we got a crit it could kill, but... Oh, they have a berry. Not even paying attention. I see how it's, uh, it's, ooh, I kind of wish I'd gone armor cannons. I mean, armor cannons 120, so it's 60. But stab, so it's 90, so armor cannon would be more damage. I just let them get a dragon dance off, that's bad. Max Caliber can't kill us both. Um, and who do I have in the back? I have Rotom and Pomot with Fake Out. It's good. We are going to Population Bomb. And. Power Cannon sounds dangerous. Good quick Trick Room. I don't like that, honestly. If they target Mousehold. Well, no, then the Gastrodon kills me. Um, so we're gonna... We're, I wanna protect. No. Protect you. Dark Pulse you. Oh, God. Oh, you know what I should have done? Oh, good. The Icicle Speed. Okay, good. Cool. We called it right by accident. I should have just fainted the um, Gastrodon is what I should have done, because I have the priority on the field that I forgot about. Um, you can't kill us both. I'm going to click Thunder Wave and Trick Room. One mode of speed control will happen. 
<laughs> that was awesome. I, I'm really happy with that, that decision of that turn. All right, so now the slower a Pokemon is, the faster it goes. It gave itself a speed boost. And, uh, yeah. Um, so what does it have? It has Ice, Electric, and that's it. But Rotom does not want a Terra. And now there's Palma. Nobody does, really. Let's go for a fake out. Um, actually, let's go for a Revival Bless. Uh, I'll go for the fake out. Hmm. I'm gonna go for a. Wait, no. Is anything fainted? So, um, the mouse holds fast. Um. But it's slower under Trick Room. Revival Blessing. Dark Pulse. It did protect, so it was correct to Revival Blessing. We got there. Alright. Close combat. And do I armor cannon or do I dark pulse? In the flinch chance if uh, we're in trouble. Actually, you know what we do? Terra and hit it. And we we armor cannon, yeah. If it takes these hits, it dies. I hope I'm slower with it having a dragon dance up. I, if, that, if that is incorrect, then I am the sad. Yeah, I'm definitely slower. All right, that gave it an attack boost. Which of me are you targeting? I went first, okay, we're good. Is it now the pressure of the mouse? Yeah, well, once I realized you had absolutely no resistance for it, I was like, oh, oh, this wins me the match. Good game, Cryptic. Good game. Oh my god. That was stressful, though. Like, <laughs> trying to figure out what decisions to make. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just won. I just won the tournament. Oh my god. I th like, I thought I was out because in the, the, the pools, I went 2-2, two, two, but I had the best record in our pool because I won a game in every match. Oh, my God. We did it. Um, Holy crap. Uh, let me. Oh, let me put the team back on screen. Oh, what just happened? Cryptic with a raid. Thank you so much. Good, great match, Cryptic. Um, let me put the battle team on screen for folks. Check details. All right, there, it's on screen. Um. Wow. I, I can't, I, I'm, 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 I'm in shock. Like. This is, this is my second Pokemon tournament ever. I have not, uh. I've done this before. Uh, here, I, yeah, I can post the, the paste with all the details now, because um, I have... Where is it? Where is the paste? 
Where is the paste? So I can give you the full team and how they're trained. Terra Dragon Valsal never made an appearance. So the Terra Dragon is because that's the technician mouse hole I caught in a raid. <laughs> um, all right, where is my team? Um, spreads. You gonna continue speaking? Give us a breakdown of how the team works. Yeah, um, do you, let me hop on, hop on a call with you so that your chat can hear me better. Um, let me message. Where is all? Empt. Um, just send everyone over. Oh, okay, that works. Hello. Hello. Hi. I was just gonna. I was just gonna send uh, send everybody over. All right, that works. That works. Thank okay. you, gamers. Yeah, I will no see you in a second. It's a game, man. Thank, I, I, thank you for the tournament. Thank you for organizing and running it. I can't believe you were running it and playing. That's a lot. <laughs> it was a lot harder than I expected it to be. <laughs> all right, all right. Everybody, uh, just you know, obviously, it was a big old congrats. All right, man. Uh, we'll see you in yeah. a second. Give us a yeah. break. Yeah, have a good night. Get the rest. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank congratulations you. Congratulations again, man. Oh my goodness. Such a good team. I I don't even know. Like, I'll I'll, I'll wait to go go into it once everyone's over here. Um, wow. wow. First time chat from Raider. You got this. All right. Welcome on in. Let's get my raid button ready so it'll post the stuff in the chat. Wow. Um, what do I even say? What do, how, do I, how do I describe the team? I mean, wait, where did I find about the... Oh my goodness! Salty Dolphins raiding me! I had no... Hi, hi everybody. Hello. Welcome. Uh, for those who don't know me, hello, my name is Daspiff. I am a professional moderator on Twitch for a number of communities. I stream Pokemon challenges, variety games. Lately, it is mostly VGC content. Um, I'm also on YouTube and TikTok. I've been working hard on both of those. I have great content coming out on both of those. Um, so let's give you the download on the team that apparently just won the tournament. Um, so I forget where I saw the Mimikyu. That's kind of the glue that held the whole team together is Max Attack, Life Orb, Mimikyu can one shot Goldango, uh, all of the dragons, and Annihilate. Um, so team uh, for the spread, let me edit that with the spreads. Um, hold on, that command is the open team sheet. Let me edit it with the spreads. Team. Spreads. I won it all, apparently. Um, all right, so yeah, there, there's the list with the spreads if you want to click on it. Um, so yeah, so it started with the fact that Mimikyu can one-shot a lot of really big important threats. The play Rough can kill all of the dragons and has bonus flash damage against uh, any, like, fighting types. So against your, um against your uh, Hariyama or um, what was the other one that I kept uh, seeing? I don't remember. And some dark types, like if the um, King Gambit Terra Darks, the Mimikyu is great. Um, but uh, yeah, just Life Orb Mimikyu. It's not Trick Room Mimikyu. It's just Adamant, Max Attack, Max Speed, uh, Life Orb Mimikyu. Um, you need to Terra Ghosts to get some of those one-hit KOs, so you just need to quickly learn those calcs. 
Um, but that that's where it started. Um, I had uh, played a rental team that had the Rotom and a, another rental team that had the Dragonite. So those ones are just copied sets from those. The Rotom is actually not minimum attack because uh, same as the mouse hold, I caught the Terrifier Rotom in a raid and was like, okay, I'll just use this one. It's fine. Um, I don't think I, I, and I did get confused. Uh, in against uh, someone who had a Pelipper, they hit me with two hurricanes and got two confusions and I hit myself in confusion twice in round three or something. Um, but so in the in the pools, oh, I should update my record. Um, record. Um, Nope, the wrong button. Record. I won. That, that that looks horrible. I'm leaving it. Um, I uh, yeah, the the mice were the mice, mice was great. The mice carried the finals for sure. I when I realized, wait a minute, he has absolutely nothing that resists or um or is immune to it, and I know which ones don't have Protect. I was just able to have the mouse pick up the KOs on everything there. Um, Mimic is one of your all-time faves. Great watching me play. Mouse exerts a lot of pressure I just didn't re didn't have. Yeah. Um, so the team started with Mimic U, Rotom, Mousehold, Dragonite. Um, Mousehold, I was like, Okay, I like, you know, I, I've always liked Paralysis. Um, it's good speed control, and if a game goes long, so I don't know if any of you saw my semifinals match, um, in that one, his Hariyama got like four full paras over the 10 turns it was alive or something. Um, just, you know, I, I paralyzed it early, and then it switched out, and then when it came back in later, and we were having this long slug fest, it got a couple of uh, paralyses, one of which was when it switched out, switched back in for a fake out, and the fake out got a full para. So that was just, that was just luck. The semifinals was all luck. Uh, just these amazing paralyses, and um, there was obviously the huge luck of game one in the finals, getting the, um, uh, the, the miss with the sleep powder from the uh the grass dancer whatever her name is Lillian. um what's up with the the, the armor rouge so the armor rouge was actually from somebody in the iron league discord let me go find their name um give credit where credit is due it was from nika in the iron league discord um i asked uh, so i i was struggling on the ladder with um with Amoongus. And I was like, okay, I'm struggling with Amoongus. Let's go for safety goggles on something. And I tried a couple of Pokemon. Um, I, try, I tried Hydreigon for a little bit, but I didn't like it. Um, it, it the, the four move slot syndrome on Hydreigon is really bad. And I hate, I hate inaccurate moves. So I hate um, uh, Draco Meteor being so important. Frick that turn one and two of game one. Yeah, the double crit. Uh, did the crit matter? Uh, or was is Palmot strong enough to kill Lilligan? Let me do the look at that calc. Um, Lilligant. Um, uh, the crit mattered. Oh my god, the crit mattered. Wow, I, I, I didn't, I don't know how bulky Lilligant is. It's uh, a 75 defense, 70 HP, so close combat is 80%. Wow. Yeah, that, that that was brutal. I, like, if, if you watch the playback of my side, I uh, I'm going no. I, this, this is too much luck. This isn't a fight. This is this is cruel. Your max HP even. Oh my god. So max HP. Yeah, that's only eighty percent max. Um, but then the crit brings it to guaranteed one KO. Wow, that was so lucky. Um, so the so the armor rouge. Um, so I, I asked, hey, does anyone have? I've seen safety goggles armor rouge, but I can't remember them. Anyone have a safety goggles armor rouge set? And someone said, and uh, who who was that person again? It was uh, Mika, uh, Micah, M A I K A, in the Iron League Discord. She said, um, yeah, here's here's mine. It is um, uh, mo hers was modest max HP, max special attack. I gave mine uh, eight points less special attack and gave it a, a little bit of bulk and speed to, for like winning a speed tie. And um, so the Armor Rouge, uh, obviously Armor Cannon, great for all of the good things fire. Dark Pulse and Terra Dark is because then enemy Indeedee Armor Rouge combo just lose to you because um, fire can't hit you and Psychic can't hit you. So unless they are Dazzling Gleam, 
you just sit there and wall in DD Armor Rouge. Um, the uh, I switched my Armor Rouge to Bold because then it has a chance to sur a good chance to survive Population Bomb from Mouse Hold. Um, so what's the calc? Armor Rouge, um, Mouse Hold. Oops, I need my Armor Rouge. Um, population bomb is a population bomb is a six percent chance to one hit KO um, on on my armor rouge because I'm bold nature. Um, I don't know if this calculator takes into account. Um, go on, on screen. I don't know if this calculator takes into account um, the crits and miss chance because those, I'm sure, adjust the math. But um, you can see uh, a 5% chance, 6% chance to Oko the uh, Armor Rouge. Um, and then if you can Terra Dark the Armor Rouge, it can then do good damage into, you know, um, for a Giraffe or something. Um, it doesn't quite one-hit KO Amoongus is a serious problem um, with the way I have it trained. Does Modest even kill it, though? Um, Moongus. Um, in rain. Why are we in rain? Um, refresh that. Uh, Arma Rouge. Moongus. Uh, so, okay, so that's a chance to Oko, depending depending how the Moongus is trained. Um, I'm sure it does well in the rain group. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't fought that much Trick Room, honestly, but, um, just with Nuzzle and Thunder Wave, just spreading, uh, let me put the team back on. With Nuzzle and Thunder Waves being able to spread paralysis, like before I had the safety goggles, I would just paralyze Amoongus and eventually they get fully paralyzed and miss the Rage Powder and then I can kill whatever it is I need to. Um, uh, I apologize, I've already snoozed the ad, so I am going to run the ad now. Sorry, gamers, but as you know, ads make the world go round. Um, so I will continue the team report after that. You'll be back in 90 seconds. Um, thank you so much for all these follows. Holy crap. Um, and Salty Dolphin here. Oh, uh, that's your paste. Sweet. Um, did I shout out Cryptic properly? As I should have. Awesome member of the Iron Mon and Iron League community. Um, you had all bulk, a little bit special defense, uh, a very a clearly very calced spread. Um, the Terra Electric scared me because I was like, "Ooh, I can't risk trying to paralyze that because I don't know if it's about to Terra Electric." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the Terra Electric and the Terra Ground on the Sylveon both scared me. Um, and just, uh, I, I'm constantly scared of after you, Lilligan Torkoal. Um, but no one ever seems to bring it. I've, I've never actually had someone use it against me. So, but I'm always scared of it. Um, animals, one. Oops. Record. I'll change the record down here. Record five and two. Right? Yeah. What spread do you use on Mimic Q? It is adamant, max attack, max speed. A life orb. The life orb is very important. Terra ground because most are running Terra fire. You don't want to run water with the potential of gastro being on the field at the same time. Yeah. And ground is great offensive coverage. It makes sense. Um. So I was, uh, so, so how else did I go in team building? So I started with uh, Mimikyu, Dragonite, Mousehold, Rotom, and then I was trying to figure out what went with all that. I forget where I came up with the idea of Palma. I think it was a Cybertron video. I think he had a video with this Palma spread. And I was like, ooh, I like Nuzzle, and that gives me Nuzzle and Thunder Wave, so I have multiple for that kind of speed control. I'm here for that. Um, I don't know if I actually used Thunder Wave this, all, this whole tournament, though, on the, on the Mousehold. I got utterly destroyed by an Encore Mousehold that outsped me and just caught my both my Mimikyu and my Rotom into Encore 
or yeah, in both of them into Encore, and I was just nothing I could do. Well, 15 minutes before the tournament started? Because you had a Gardevoir team who wasn't happy with it. Nice. Yeah, I've been playing this one for about a week. Uh, I've been testing it on the ladder and uh, just, just trying to make sure I'm familiar with my own team. Um, I know it's not perfect. Like, Dragonite, I don't know if I love. Um, Armor Rouge serves a purpose. Um, Rotom, Pama, and Mimikyu are for sure the core of the team. Those three come to almost every match. Um, it's usually Rotom in the back because Rotom is so bulky, it can just clean up. Like, it's so bulky, I'm considering switching from Citrus Berry to Leftovers on it. Um, because it always is just in a slugfest with people. And so I, I need I need to go through and do some calcs and see if there's like, where does Citrus Berry let me live uh, in a way that Leftovers over time would not? Like, where does that turn into three? Because it, it has to be the Citrus Berry turns into three a three hit KO. A two hit into a three hit is what you need the Citrus Berry to do, basically. And I feel like Leftovers can accomplish the same thing with the way I see the Rotom taking damage. Um, Faint has been amazing, um, both as priority pick off a, a Focus Sash user like Meowth Garada, and um, just being able to read, okay, they're going to protect, I can double up and KO this. Like, I use that on Sylveon all the time because they're very predictable when they protect. Um, I don't have anything super effective against fairies is something I realized that I'm not happy with. Um, would love to get like poison jab kind of thing. I also love I'd love to drop a physical attacker for a special attacker because I have four physical. Um, Gastro and Frederick have the HP they do because they're only two mons that can live final gamut from ape. Oh, yeah. Yep. For a draft, absolutely can do that. I was playing rental with that. Um, I don't know, do folks have any questions about the team and how I played it? So the, the Dragonite, um, I also saw, like, yesterday, uh, Dragonite, it was running, instead of Dragon Claw stomping a tantrum, it was Fire Punch, um, Low Kick. And I was myself thinking Dragon Claw doesn't really do anything, so I was considering dropping it, but I, but I didn't want to make a change like that before, right before the tournament. Um, and... Uh, low kick sounds sweet. I mean, fire punch sounds sweet. So I, I might want to change the Dragonite move set or switch the Dragonite to a different Pokemon. Like, couldn't find it because so like the Armor Rouge slot. I was looking for a fast special attacker, and that's why I started with Hydreigon. But uh, then I was like, this isn't helping where I needed to help, and uh, so that's how we got onto the safety goggles Armor Rouge. Um. Wow. What is your approach to the Murkrow? Oh, Murkrow Goldango is... Mwah. If they if they lead Murkrow... So if, if I see Murkrow Goldango on their team, you know, if the, the like Murkrow, Goldango, Garchomp, Hydreigon, that kind of team, I just lead Pama plus Mimikyu. Pama fakes something out, and then Mimikyu kills something, and they never see it coming. Because <laughs> um, Mimikyu play rough... Unless, like, the only problem with play rough is the 10% miss chance, so you have to live with that but play rough kills all the dragons except for multi-scale dragonite um let me pull up the calcs i think uh i want to verify that statement um mimic you versus dragonite salt vest okay so dragonite it's a chance to ko depending uh how lucky you get and this one, this is inner focus. Um, Hydreigon, it's all Hydreigon, it obviously KOs 4x. And Garchomp. Um, Garchomp, it's also, you know, a, a ton, ton of damage. Um, but so just uh, fake out the Murkrow and, um, Mim yes, Mimikyu outspeeds Golden Go. Um, unless they are timid max speed, I believe. Um,. Mimikyu with max speed is, um, with adamant max speed is 148 attack. Goldengo with uh, modest max speed is 136. I think if you go timid, yeah, if you go timid, it outspeeds by one. If it's timid max speed, it outspeeds by one point. Um, but your Mimikyu, you have disguise. You can just take the make it rain and then kill it back. Um, so you can see the Shadow Claw calc here. Um, 
Life Orb Mimic View Shadow Claw has a chance to Oko. And if you Terra, it's guaranteed. Same with Annihilate. Annihilate the bulk up set. Um, so normally Shadow Claw. So Play Rough is a little more damage, but Shadow Claw is more accurate. But if you Terra, Shadow Claw becomes a guaranteed KO against a bulky Annihilate. Um, and, it, and if it crits, it obviously goes through even a bulk up Annihilate. Um, you know, and it's just really good damage there. And then uh, the priority of Shadow Sneak just to pick up. What site are you using from for the calcs? This one. This one is the best calc that I've found because it has like the nice Terra buttons, has the nice commander buttons. It has, you know, it has the, the, the Gen 9 stuff in it well. Um. Uh, so I, I've seen a Palmot set where instead of Nuzzle, they're running Dual Shock. And I do want Palmot to have a more offense because there are situations where it's just like close combat's useless. I'm against a Moongus and a Ghost. Like, okay, I'll muzzle them. So I, having like, there have been times I've considered dropping Revival Blessing for it, but there are times where Revival Blessing is just like, you know, Revival Blessing is like protect, but better is the way I think of it, where just in a situation where either you're desperate or you know you outspeed, you can just bring something back in the back. Ideally, like Rotom, either Rotom because it's bulky enough, Mousehold because it's fast enough, Dragonite because extreme speed, um, or Mimic you if uh, it's you know, it's one of the threats you know you outspeed. Um, can you hop into Raid Voice real quick? Sure. Hello. Hi, I just wanted to say a very, very well-deserved congratulations on that win. Thank you. I am flabbergasted. Um, I did not expect, so I didn't expect to win. Just, I, I feel very new at Pokemon. Like, you'll, you, you'll see if you watch through my matches. I'm always going like, I don't know, like, oh, and then going like, oh, no, I just made a huge mistake. Um, and Everyone is a game of second guessing yourself. It's fine. <laughs> That's true, but I'm bad at it. I once uh, I once did a veterinary internship and the vet was a surgeon and she you know, as we were working together, she was like, oh, you're internal medicine. You're not a, you're not a surgeon because I need <laughs> I need to sit and think through things, whereas uh, the, the versus the surgeon is very instinctual of, OK, yeah. this is what I need. This is the best thing. And I'm not instinctual like that. Um, no, I'm also a sit and think person. That was very intense like for the finals and i just i did had no pressure for the mouse yeah once once i like in game one i didn't quite i hadn't quite realized how good the mouse was and then game two i was like oh my god especially with your lead where neither of them had protect i was like jesus this just gets a ko on whatever i want i just had to so account for I, you switching i was really hoping you would pick off gastron knowing how annoying it could be into your palmot and not having you have revival blessing because I knew I lived um population bomb on the for draft yeah or on, on both actually bank, I, I was bank yeah I was banking on trying to get up trick room because if I got up trick room I could have kind of steamrolled with backs uh backs gastro a bit mm -hmm. yeah I was so, concerned about the gastro because I once got into an end game where it was Rotom versus gastro I think I'd already Terra fired so all, you know, it was immune, 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 resist, and uh, uh, but but it had I think ice beam was its only attack, so we were just slugging it out. And so that's another reason why I'm like I kind of want to try out leftovers on the Rotom. Um, yeah, so, uh, I have see, see it might have been a this these this might have been a different tournament actually if I would have um a berry or something on my fur graph. I had covert cloak because I've been running into a lot of instances where my draft rig has been getting paralyzed by secondary effect or poison or burnt. And I'm like, I'm just it not dealing with it. It prevents nuzzle. It prevents nuzzle. <laughs> that is annoying. Like, I was like, I'm just not dealing with it today. <laughs> so I put cloak on it. And also I was worried because I was running Sunroom. Uh -huh. If I ran into any rain teams dealing with um, Hurricane. Hurricane, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I had one game where I got confusion. double confused by Hurricane. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to hop in real quick. Say, dude, you crushed it. You have a great team. Thank you. Like, and I'm I'm, I'm still in complete shock. The future. 
Hey, you can be in shock, you're one. <laughs> That's what matters. Uh, and the glory. Let's be right, I'd rather play you than Nino because I did not want to play Tatsu Don Fissure again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, he never brought the, 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 the Don against me. He brought the Tatsu a couple times, uh, but never the Don. He was my first opponent all day. Nice. So, yes, but yeah, once again, congratulations. Yeah, Thank I you. definitely gave you a follow. You deserve it. Oh, man. Uh, chat, any other questions about the team? Let's just go hop into some rank. Things this is a ladder. Let's uh, make that uh, leftover switch to see how it goes. I'm so happy for this guy, but I just met him. <laughs> um, you want more content from me? I've been posting on TikTok and YouTube. I will attempt to splice down all the matches from this tournament into a video on YouTube, and I'll go and see if I can find some clips for TikTok. What about under? Oh, about under the Tatsugiri. Um, let me. I should just put an image of the team on screen. Um, so under the Tatsugiri, I forgot to explain. So there's the team. Um. So, Dondozo Tatsugiri, um, I keep, uh, I keep, what's his name in the back? I keep Rotom in the back and just wait to put, bring out Rotom until the Dondozo is commander on the field. Or, I mean, if you, if you can, if you can damage the Dondozo before it commanders, do it. But, um, I bring, I can make this bigger. I bring, um, Uh, so I, have, I bring Rotom in the back. Um, I usually lead like, you know, I, I like some Mimic use okay for um, sh Shadow Claw critting through it, um, paralyzing it if it's not the rest variant. Paralyzing it helps uh, with either Mousehold or Pomot. Mousehold can do good damage to it, even with plus two. It still takes a good chunk. Let me, um, Dozo, Mousehold. Um, Dundozo takes 30, 40%. No, Dundozo takes 70. No, no, it's not that. That's not Commander. After Commander, it still takes 40, 50% from Population Bomb. Um, so it just, you, you just need two, three hits on it to kill it without dying. And, you know, Rotom survives. It's bulky enough. Palmot and Mimikyu both have Sash, uh, or effectively Sash. Um, if you can maneuver Dragonite, you know, to, you know, Gap be in on an earthquake and extreme speed or something. Um, but you, you just kill it like Thunderbolt's really good. Sash is very good. Um, you know, if, if you can get their Terra out early on something else, it's, you know, like leading Palmot Mousehold, try and kill the Meowskarada that came out first or something. Um, weather teams, yeah, I have no weather control, which is something that I don't like. Um, having uh. Let's see, so you outspeed Pelipper. So Rotom just puts huge pressure on there. So I usually lead Rotom against the Pelipper kind of kind of games. There was one game in the, uh, the tournament round one or two. Um, so I killed the Pelipper and then the Dreadnought. I was like, the Dreadnought's about to protect. So I just went faint Thunderbolts and kill, <laughs> killed it. <laughs> um, Sun, uh, getting lucky works very well. Um, that's what worked for me in the finals. Um, a uh, sand, uh, Pomot takes Rock Slide really well. Um, the first time I was facing, say, you know, Rock Slide, um, Tyranitar, and um, Lycanroc, um, I was like, uh oh. And then they both hit me with Rock Slide, and I was still, I was still able to survive another Rock Slide the next turn. I was like, oh, okay, Pomot's an answer there. So I, for for those ones, I usually lead Pomot, fake out the. Um, Fake out the dog, fake out the, what the hell is his name? Lycanroc. Fake out, the, uh, fake out the Lycanroc and then double up into it with anything else. And that usually does the trick. You know, maybe Dragonite, Terra Normal, Stomping Tantrum it, or, um, you know, Rotom, Hydro Pump it. Um, I don't know if Mimikyu does the job there. It's pretty frail, so it might. What do you do into Ferrigiraf? Um, let me see. For, so into like for a giraffe plus like a fake out user. Um, mimic use great because it can't be fake outed and it can uh, decent pressure onto the partner usually. Um, leading my two thought my, my my leading paralysis works well there. You can just hope for the hope for the lucky paralysis or 
you know, if you, if you end up, they get Trick Room up, just getting things paralyzed and with Protect. Um, you just want a ladder with Jess Palm on and Mouse. Nice. Um, so yeah, getting things paralyzed is good. Armor, so like, Mimikyu Armor Rouge is decent against, uh, uh for a giraffe. Because like, if they're going like, uh, 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 you know, Grimmsnarl or something, you can tear a dark and just start blasting. Yeah, Mimikyu is great against Hariyama. Just be careful of the knockoff. If they knock off your life orb, that can be an issue. <laughs> I did have one game where um, they knocked off the life orb and then they hit me with a second knockoff and I survived at like 12 HP or something. And I was like, oh, I'm going to faint to life orb. I didn't have the life orb anymore, so I survived another turn. <laughs> Disguise prevents the damage, nothing else. You can still get the stat drops, the flinches, um, all that stuff. Um, I had one game where they, uh, I fake outed, uh, the, they, they led the two dragons, they led Garchomp, Hydrogen, and I fake outed the Garchomp, and they Dark Pulsed my Mimikyu, and, uh, they got flinched, and I just died, like, on the spot, um, because then they just outsped and crushed me, um, and I was like, well, I need to fake out the other direction next time. Yeah, if, if this guy prevented special effects, oh my god. It's just a really good Pokemon. 